Yeah, 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 yeah. So today I'm gonna talk about these these um Pelicans Nuggets game. Pelicans one one twenty two one zero seven. And honestly, the big story of this game was Frank Jackson because he's been going crazy all year. And Jaleel Okafor. Honestly, this video should be about Jaleel Okafor because he would dominate. Ingram, he was going crazy too. Ball had a good game. Again, Frank Jackson, he went crazy. 21 points in 19 minutes. He shot 8 of 20. Yeah, going crazy. But as you can see from the title of the video, we're talking about Michael Porta Jr. And yeah, the reason we talking about uh, Michael Porter Jr. is because he been hurt. He was drafted last year, I think 14th or 15th. I think it was 14th, the last pick in the lottery. To the Denver Nuggets, he fell. He was supposed to be like the number one pick. But because of injuries, he fell in the draft. Didn't play his old rookie season, so this is his rookie season. And that was his first NBA game action. And oh man, god dang. Bro is... Bro, special. Bro, a talent. Like, he a crazy talent. He had, really, 15 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist, 5 of 8 shooting, 62%, and 20 minutes. I know what you're saying. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 that's a good game. That's a, that's a solid game. Why am I like, wow? Because I'm pretty sure Bro didn't check in until, like, the third quarter. He played a lot in the fourth, and at the end of the fourth, he really got rolling. Came in the fourth when Mike Malone emptied out his bench with about seven minutes because the starters were being doo doo. Jaleel was duking on uh, Jokic. <laughs> no one could stop him with his turnover, the left shoulder, jump hook, killing. Then. Porter Jr. He comes in the game. He misses like two of his first three shots, and then after that, goes like four for five, and he looked like a bucket. I just the way he was moving, it was so smooth. His jumper, oh my god! He was working it off the elbow, mid post, three. Hold on, don't quote me on that. Appreciate he hit a three or maybe a super long two. He, yeah, he was one for three from three. And the shots that he was missing, it's not like, nah, there were some bad misses. Nah, they were rattling in and out. I, how good he looked, it was like, wow. Denver may have the Messiah on the bench. That nobody knew, or knew that they needed, but they have. Like, I saw Michael Porter Jr. play, and I am in awe. It's 15 points. I don't know when he's going to play again because I can't trust that he's going to stay healthy until I see him healthy. But when he's healthy and he's playing games, it's going to be scary, especially now that no one expects you to play all 82. Yo, if you play 70 games, you a trooper. You just need to play 65 games. Make sure that when you play, your team wins. So that you make the playoffs. Because that's all that matters. Denver may have a star. And to team that up with Jokic. And Murray. And Gary. And Will Trill Barton. And Millsap. Lord have mercy. Because Jokic, Jokic a hooper. He, he, he a star. But sometimes, bro doesn't push the issue to score. And to put somebody like Michael Porter Jr. on the court who's a bucket. I, I don't know if y'all remember Austin Day. When he was drafted by the Pistons, he was supposed to be this walking bucket. And he couldn't stay healthy. He couldn't just stay in the league. He fizzled out couldn't play defense so many problems but Michael Michael Porter Jr. is what Austin Day should have been I I don't really have a comparison 
to any current or former NBA players right now. Outside of that, I, what I saw from Michael Porter Jr., I'm ready. I see star potential. I think he gonna go crazy. Michael Porter Jr., like, comment, sub. If you agree with me, be like, yeah, Michael Porter Jr. is star. If it's just one game bias, hey, maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't known myself to be wrong. So. Oh yeah, last but not least, like, I don't want y'all being like, yo, Michael Porter Jr. got all his buckets and garbage time because that is 100% false. The Pelicans still had their starters out there and he was hoping. And I get it. Some of y'all don't respect the Pelicans and you're like, yeah, it's the Pelicans. I don't care. They had their starters looking like trash. And everybody know the, the Nuggets supposed to make the playoffs. The Nuggets supposed to make like some sort of run, some sort of noise in the playoffs. Nah, the, the, the Nuggets ain't sweet. So the Pelicans were really hooping. So for him to come out, and do something that they starters couldn't do, that Jokic couldn't do, that Murray couldn't do, that Harris couldn't do, that Millsap couldn't do, and just put up buckets. Hey, don't hate on bro. 